Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, May 10th, and um, I am live on my, let me make sure I am, on to my uh, Facebook page. Um, my name is uh, Betsy Robles, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! instructor. So what does that mean? What is it being an independent Stampin' Up! instructor? It means that I can help you create cards, scrapbook pages, any um, a decorative item that you would like to create using Stampin' Up! products, whether it's using their paper, their um, embellishments, their ribbon. Um, the DSP itself is beautiful on any kind of uh, craft a uh, fixture that you would like to make and um i love to craft i love to create different things it's my outlet to stay sane <laughs> stay insane and um i like to share my passion for crafting with everybody and that's why i decided to go ahead and become an independent Stampin' Up! instructor because I love what I create and I like to share my tips and tricks for everybody else. And I decided to become an independent Stampin' Up! instructor for that same reason. And I hope you, you know, um, find inspiration one way or another with what I make and you can make it um, your, you can add your own bling to it with whatever I create. So let me go ahead and find myself, find, making sure that I am live and let me put do not disturb on everything. So today is such a, well, now it's sunny this morning and it was horrible. Um, and there was thundering lightning this morning. I guess, uh, it, it already passed. I don't know. And we decided not to take my son to school today because I didn't know how bad was it going to get. And I know Houston, when it rains, it pours and a lot of the streets out there get flooded. And... I know the area where my son goes, it's like way by the, um, by the Gulf and, um, some of those areas get flooded. I know there's a plant there that does and I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> so I decided just to leave him home and my husband and him just went to run some errands. But so gives me some time to go ahead and show you guys what's new, what's going on. And um, today is the last day to sign up for Paper Pumpkin. And there is a new uh, cards and envelopes add-on. And uh, they're amazing. I bought them and I have them here. And I'll open them with you. That way you can see them. And it's featuring new colors that... Um, Featuring some of our new uh, end colors and uh, very exciting. I got that birthday kit. I want to show you in, I want to show you one thing I did and I recommend you not doing that. <laughs> but um, it's just me, um, something that minor detail that bothered me. It's no biggie, but um, if, if you're like me and small things like that gets to you um I'll go ahead and tell you what I did and I finished a lot of my paper pumpkin kits you guys I have mailed out some and uh so some of you might go ahead and get it I know I'm very late on my birthday and my thank you cards so not all of them were paper pumpkin a lot of them were different things that I created and I wanted to share 
what I do with you. So let me go ahead and flip the camera. That way I can show you what we're gonna work with today and show you those add-on cards and envelopes for the paper pumpkin and show you guys the Stampin' Up! birthday kit. I like it, it's a shaker card. Um, can create uh, shaker cards and I showed them to you on my last live. Oh, another thing. Um, I don't know what happened. I finished doing that other card that I had said, let me see, that I had said I was going to do. I felt like I was, I ran out of time with uh, that other card that I did. So I got a head start on a lot of my things today. So this card, I have mentioned that I was going to make a, a short video you know, doing this since I didn't get a chance to because we just, I went over through the catalog and showed you some DSP and, um, you know, uh, I ran out of time and I don't like to go past an hour and that was an hour and 30 minutes. So yeah, um, I don't know what happened. It didn't upload. So I need to check out why it didn't because it's done and I'm showing you guys other cards in which you'll see on that video. And yeah, but I need to figure out why, why it didn't because somebody sent me an email and stated, hey, you had said that you were gonna post it and you guys, I don't know what happened. I was like, I thought I did. So before I emailed back, I made sure if I did it or not and I did it, but it didn't post. I don't know what's going on. So I need to check on that. My blog is getting updated. Um, you can find measurements. And there's another thing that I'm gonna show you guys today that you can find there too, that for us Stumping Up demonstrators, we get to share with our customers. And the only way I can share with you guys is if you go to my blog. And I'll be showing you guys that. And let me see. I think that's it. But let me go ahead and flip the camera. That way you guys can see what we're working with today and what what I want to show you. Okay, so let me flip the camera. Okay, I always forget how to do this. <laughs> okay, it's right here. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Let me go more like this. Trying to see if my I think there was. I noticed that one of on my other videos, something here from my stand was in the way, and I didn't like that. So I went ahead and moved my camera just a little bit. And then I don't want it too far because I feel like you guys can't see the detail on some of the stuff. So it'll get better. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're working with today. But I wanted to show you guys this other stuff. So today is the last day to sign up for a paper pumpkin. Um, I think this would look this would be nice for uh, masculine cards. The only way you can add add-ons is if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. That's the only way you can get any add-on that um, Stampin' Up! Um, adds to their Paper Pumpkin. And let's see. That's the only way that you can get it. And these come with envelopes. I think it's 10, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 or 20, let me see. Yeah, it's 18, okay. So it comes with 18 cards. 
And then here's in Copper Clay. Here's in Moody Mob. These are three of our in colors today. I mean, for this, for the next two years. So this pretty much, it's super easy. You just need to add on your uh, sentiment on the inside, your sentiment or whatever embellishment you wanna add. I'm really curious to see what stamp sets are in for this one. And uh, so that's one. Let's see, let me put that over there. And here's this one. It's like very nice. And here's the other one. Super cute. I like them, you guys. And this is an add-on. I did not check if they were still available. Um, but these are the, the add-ons that you get. And you'll get the envelopes for each of this. Alrighty. And then it's exploring color cards and envelopes. These are the only way you can get this add on is if you sign up for uh, to be a Paper Fragment subscriber. And it's uh, $24.50 now. Um, they raised up the price. And then it's you'll also get more besides this. This is just an add-on. So on your paper pumpkin kit, you're gonna get, um, you create nine cards, three of each, of three designs, plus nine coordinated envelopes, a seven-piece allocation stamp set that celebrates good friends and great adventures, stickers to put on your projects or anything you want, water bottles, laptops, coolers, one copper clay, a uh, new in color stamp and spot. Finished card size is four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is the the coordinating add-on. Super cute. I, uh, you guys, Paper Pumpkin is super easy. Let me show you the last two kits that I finished doing. Um, this is one. Um, you deserve the best. This was all in the kit, you guys. I didn't need a stamping spot for this, even though I used my own pal polish pink stamp pad. Um, this kit already came with it. Super cute. Here's another one. This is my favorite one. And I did happy birthday. And um, this is another one. I'm grateful for all the little things you do. Look at that holographic, you guys, super cute. I think on the new Paper Pumpkin kit, um, look, and this this kit came with its own embellishments. This other one didn't have any embellishments. This one didn't, but if you have some on your stash, you can always use them. And uh, hold on, it looks like this. And then here's this, and uh, we, you know, I don't like to make sympathy cards, but you know sometimes we need them um, and celebrate today. And I did two different ones: celebrate today, enjoy your day. So these are paper pumpkin kits, you guys. They come with its own embellishments. Sometimes it comes with their own bling. Sometimes it doesn't. But look at that specialty paper, you guys. It's a, everything's done for you. I've showed it in several of my videos about how everything's already pre-cut for you. All you have to do is just take it off. Super easy to make. Um, so this is a video that I said that I was gonna show you. This is the one that just took me forever to make. I decided to add on the heart and I added some copper clay bling to it. It's another one that I did. <laughs> I'm bananas about you. Let me see if I finished the inside. Oh no, I have not. I've not finished the insides of my cards, but I'm bananas about you. This is one monkey. This is with the punch, and this is without the punch. So this has no punch. This does. And so it's two types of uh, monkeys that it's in your stamp set, and you can do that. And um, yeah, so the other one and I have one more but I'm I sh I don't have it I don't know where I have it 
but um I showed it I'm showing it in the other video that I said that for some reason it didn't post I don't know why okay so let me show you the new paper the new birthday kit which is this one that's the new birthday kit so I got it I love it comes in boxes like this paper pumpkin comes in boxes in orange boxes not in this one it's got orange boxes and uh, so the kits come in this look you see I I have already um, messed around with it so it always comes with the instructions okay it tells you what to do it's just like a paper pumpkin kit um, this one's come with the stamping block um, with the stamping block and paper pumpkins do not and uh, this one had a blue berry, blueberry is it a blueberry bushel yeah blueberry bushel a mini ink spot and super cute and with one two three four four three sentiments and one um candle and let me show you the let me show you the oh i just dropped those so these are the um sentiments let's party happy birthday oh happy day and let me tell you something so whenever um paper pumpkin has the same thing um uh stampin up has a video right where they show you how to assemble everything you know all this other stuff i did not watch it i don't know if they explained it in the video but you know i'm like oh it's a shaker cart you know no big deal okay look this is a the stamping spot it came with your um oh what is this called the tearing tape i didn't use it because i have my own here and then it came with the ink spot i mean with the with the block and i still have it here it also comes with your adhesive so look it, they're giving you dimensionals and the tearing tape does the, the, the block, the ink spot, and everything else you need to create these cards. Okay. Um, let's see, I don't want to use my sentiments. Let me see. And these also come with the envelopes. Here are the envelopes. Let's check them out. Oops. Sorry. Here are the envelopes. Super cute. I don't always decorate my envelopes, but if you like doing that, you you can. And here it is. It goes. All right. Super cute. And for your sentiments, these always have the. It comes with this okay so it already it already comes uh, where you would like to stamp your sentiments on okay one thing I wanted to show you was okay I have the instructions over there let me put this back in here with this let me leave out the instructions out That way I can show you something. Okay. So the instruction states that you should it came with the little bags, okay? And it says, you know, put the card inside the little bag and then put your uh, shaker, your sequence inside. And then seal it, right? And then use the tear and tape to seal it and 
paste it, right? That's exactly what I did. Okay. Thing is that here, oh, I stumped the inside of my card. Thing is that here, you don't see the inside of the card, right? It's like this one, you have to open it. And this, I cut apart because I need to replace my blade, you guys. Look. Um, this was the back of this. Okay, but I already cut it so that I can use another paper and for the base. Okay, the reason why I did that, it's because the way I added my sequins, because we're going to open it this way, just like here. You open it this way. I didn't want this to show you guys. I don't like that. So in what I would recommend you do is if you're doing this, but you also have to be careful. Let me see, where is it? And let me grab this one. Because it already comes with your with your um, baggie where you're going to put your sequins in. Okay, so this one, let's see the white one. If you don't want this to show, what I suggest you do is do it this way. Put your sequins on this side and seal it. That way, when whoever you're mailing it to doesn't see this when they open the card that's just me you guys i rather them see this than this that's just me <laughs> you know so with this one you know when they open this one they're gonna see it but one thing i do wanna i suggest is if you do it that way how i'm showing you maybe it's not gonna work on this one but you have to make sure this doesn't show on the front. You see, this one's going to show. The other one isn't. But you can always cut it. You see how it has this little thing here? You can cut it. Oh, let's see. You can cut this little flap. If you don't want it to show, just cut it. And then it's going to be like this. Okay, but you have to make sure that it's centered, you know, back here too. It's still going to show. So this might not work on this one. But on this other one, it will. You know, if you do what I just said, if you cut it, this thing is like right here. It's right here because I can feel it. Um, I suggest you just do it that way if this bothers you so what i'm going to do is add some dimensionals and put it in another use a different card base i'm just debating on what card base i should use for this one but like i said that's just me if it doesn't bother you you can just go ahead and follow the instructions but those are the cards that you can create with this new birthday kit this is the kit of the month and um, yeah so like I said it's it was just me <laughs> you know that I just didn't like that um, all right so that's that let's see I want to stay in track so it's 1131 All right, let's go ahead and get started on with our cards for today. So this is our new annual catalog. So pretty. And then we turn to page 86 and 87. You're going to find this, the sweet uh, stargazing uh, suite. I love this, you guys. 
Um, my son, when he saw it, he was just stoked about it. And he loved, he loves space. He loves NASA, the Space Center is in, I think it's Webster, Lake City. I don't know, too many towns carted all in one. I, I just can't keep up anymore. I don't know if it's Lake City or Web, Webster, Texas, but um, the Space Center is there. Um, we used to take him. Um, we haven't gone. Last time he went was in the summer. He had a field trip to go and he loved it. And uh, it's super nice and uh, he loved it and he just likes all the space and everything, the galaxies and everything. You know, he thinks of Guardians of the Galaxy, he thinks of Star Wars. <laughs> we, I think of Interstellar, Gravity, you know, different movies than <laughs> what he's into, Avengers. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's super cute. I ended up uh, die cutting some of this because I'm going to use them in some of the cards. And let me show you some of the cards that I made using the catalog. You guys, the catalog is made for you to get inspiration from. If you want to, uh, you know, do it just like the catalog says, you can. You can change it up, spice it up. It's up to you. Here's a different one using that specialty paper. I love it. And this is using some of those uh, uh, dies. And uh, yeah, I, I really like it. And let me show you the paper, okay? Uh, oh, so here's the stamps. Is if I had a star for every time you brought in my day, I'll have an entire galaxy. Mm -hmm. Greetings, friend. You're stellar. Reach for the stars. And there's die cuts for that. The astronaut. And then the uh, shuttle. And then the dies are reach for this, the, the stars dies. And these are it. So I have been using it. As you can tell, that's why nothing is aligned. <laughs> mm, nothing is aligned, but you know, a trick that I learned from my upline is to do the outlines on your dies. That way you are aware if you are missing a die or what die you might be missing just by looking at the outline. And this is this this one and this one emboss your paper. They emboss it, they give it an effect. And this one's you die cut. This is the um the the flame the uh from the shuttle, you know, when it, it takes off. Oh, there's a term for it. I just I'm getting amnesia now. I don't recall the name. And this, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure if it's part of this. Yeah, it, it's part of this. It's another one that you can use for the shuttle as it's taking off, as it's blasting off. All right, so let me go ahead and put it up because I am very afraid of losing my dyes. I haven't found my other flower, my, I think it was, now I can't remember what it was for. Another stamp set that I recommend if you are into this is in, it's in the stars. This stamp set, I've used it. Let me show you. I heat embossed um, using the silver embossing powder. I use this and I stamped it on Night of Navy. It's the Constellations, you see the Great Dipper. Uh, let me see. No, I can't remember the rest of them. But yeah, you you can clearly see them. <laughs> and so this is a, a good add-on. So here's the paper. I think I'm going to have to order some more for myself so that I can see um, what I want. Uh, I mean to create more. Uh, let's see. So these are four sheets. 
these are the front of the four sheets or uh, one side and here's the other one I should show it to you as a full sheet versus like that okay but you now I have pieces in here okay so this was like planets and I'm using them because I'm using this for the circles and I'll show you in one of the cards why. So look, here's how it looks. Awesome, you guys, awesome. That's the back of that one. Here's another one. We went to Big Bend Park. I think it was last summer. I can't remember when we went, but we were able to see this. Some of the Aurora Borealis. Um, it has to be super dark. It was nice. I I liked it. My son really, really enjoyed it. He was just afraid of the bears. <laughs> and so so were we. You know, I went with my brother and sister-in-law and my uh, niece and nephew. You know, they love to camp. I don't like to camp. <laughs> Look, this is some of the ones that I already cut. And here's the back of that one. And here's part of the back of that one. This one's very nice. And yeah, so check that out. And okay, I'll just put this back later. And I'm gonna put this off to the side. Um, and here's a specialty paper, it's a holographic. It's three different ones. Let me show you because I already cut some of it. So you get three different ones. Super cool. It's another one. And here's another one. So cool. <laughs> I like it. All right. So that's part of that suite. And this didn't come with embellishments. It's just a holographic paper, the DSP, and the, the stamp, and the, the stamp set, and the, oh, what is it called? The dice. All right, so let's get started. Oh, yeah, let me see. I want to show you this. Let me see where are my papers. So I wanted to show you this one. It's a little messed up, but I heat embossed this using the silver powder. Um, and let me go ahead and I want to see how it looks in gold. I really wanted to do it in uh, gold before I went live, and I thought I I did it, but I guess I didn't. It's because my son has a. Um, he has a Lego astronaut, um, a Lego astronaut, uh, figure, you know, those mini figures, he has one, and I, uh, saw it and was like, you know what, that, that would look nice if I, uh, if I heat emboss the the astronaut, but I wanted to do that one in white, but I'll have to think of the color where I want to stamp it. Okay, so I already have my uh, uh my stamps in <laughs> their blocks. <laughs> so I am using the what size is this? The E block and I am going to go ahead and do it this way and the reason why I put the um the powder on this side is because I do not want to add any more heat to this side so I wanted to show you guys how it will look in silver and in gold just in case you want to see how it'll look and I want to show you how it will look in basic gray smoky slate and pebble bath 
no i already have a flat no so it's basic gray and smoky slate that way if you want to do this and if you want to see how it looks you know you can try it um let me see let me add my gold so i just want you to see and i'm also curious to see how would this astronaut look in gold not just in silver and then i'm pretty sure i'm gonna keep playing with this although i do have to start working on my card swaps that i have for my upline that i have to turn in mm, i have to I have to ship them out tomorrow. So after this, I'm going to get started on that. But okay, there's a little noise. It's my machine. So let's see. that it's magic when my son first saw this he's like this is magic mama and I said yes it is yes it is and that's how it will look I like it I think I like it better in gold <laughs> than in silver I don't know then again this is the messed up one okay because I'm I want to use this as our as our um our sample you know but this is one that I will use and I don't know I need to get a new powder I feel like mine has been contaminated in my gold and my white I think my black one too so this one is in smoke, basic gray. I want you to, you guys to see how the astronaut look. If it's, um, if you just don't want to be using a uh, memento black ink, you guys can see how would it look in basic gray. basic gray and smoky slate so this is basic gray looks pretty nice uh, let's see let me put this back because i'm not gonna use it let's shammy shammy okay and then now let's get smoky slate See if it fits. I'm gonna do it this way. This one's floating around. All right, and that is in a basic, I mean, smoky slate. I think that one I need to add some more ink to it. And I'm gonna show you how it looks in Memento Black and in Pebble Bath. And I think I have one using the starry sky. All right, so whenever you see them, you get to choose which one you like. You know, just ideas for you like to get once you get, once you get it. <laughs> if you want to, um, you know, see which one you like better. You can start using that. Okay, let me put this up. And put everything back in its place or else everything gets lost okay um let me see i'm gonna show you how do they look okay this one's in pebble bath pebble path this is pebble bath this is in a uh, memento black ink. This is in a uh, starry sky. 
This is a Starry Sky Shuttle and a Memento Black Ink. Okay, so you have different ones here. And here's one using Orchid Oasis, a Berry Burst, and Lemon Lime Twist. So you have all your options. Of course, there's more. I think my favorite one is the gold one. <laughs> But, no, in seriousness, the ones that I really do like is these three. I don't know. I like these three. And I have this. And, uh, yeah, so, just wanted you guys to see how would it look if you would heat emboss and if you would like it in silver and gold basic gray and smoky slate like i said this one's messed up a paper accidentally fell on top of it so i was like man so yeah this is how it will look not this so here you go it's pretty pretty all right shiny shiny Okay, let's get to business now. All right, so let's see, where is the paper that I want to use? Oh yeah, and I have already, I die cut some of the, so it comes into different shapes. This is for that one, and this one's for this one. And here's the astronaut. The astronaut is, it has its own die cut. Well, it's like this, right? The die cuts the astronaut. And this, and then this embellishments are these two. And this is for this. I haven't used this one. And the circles, you'll see all the circles in just a little bit. But yeah, that's that. Oops. Okay. Um, so I am looking for the paper that I am going to use, which is this one. I think I want to use this one better. Okay. I'm going to use this one and debating if, see, I didn't pick the, I think I like it better in Blueberry Bushel. Blueberry Bushel has become my new blue, you guys. Pacific Point, I never really rushed to Pacific Point, but Blueberry Bushel, it's like, it's a very pretty blue. Um... Misty Moonlight, no. This is Starry Sky, no. It's too bright for this one, I think. I think Blueberry Bushel is winning. Or maybe Night of a Navy. Let's see. The Night of Navy does look nice, too. I think I'm I'm gonna go with Night of Navy on this one. Okay, where is my Night of Navy paper? I had one right in here. It's right here. Okay, so we are going to use Night of Navy. Let's put this back. Let's see what time is it. 11.51. Oh, you guys. I told my husband, I need to get better. My timing is horrible. I need to, need to do that. Okay, so now let's burnish this. Uh -oh. Little things came to the side. Mm 
Right, so then we're gonna do it like this. Okay, and then I want to add, mm, let's see, I already die cut a lot of these. So, I don't know if I want this one like this and this one here. Maybe I put this one here because I would like for it to stand out. Maybe this one here. And let's see the shuttle. Why is she use pebble path or the black one? Or so this is easy, you guys. Using your DSP makes it just a tiny bit easier for you. You know, I think that's gonna blend in. I think I like it better in black, using Memento Black, than the Pepo Path. I don't know why I keep saying bath. All right. And then, I'm gonna do it like that. I think I like it. So, if I do it this way, I think, I think I know what I'm going to do. I might use blueberry bushel. Maybe heat emboss it in white. Heat emboss in white. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. But I'm going to do it twice just in case it doesn't work out. And... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. And this is using, you guys, um, the dies, the circle dies. This circle dies. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six circle dies. You can use that. And let me see, should I add this? Yeah, I might add it. Um, uh, the circle dies. And then using the the DSP, the one that I showed you. Using this. So this is all die cut from here. You can always use the back. You can always use the back of this one and this one to give it the same look. You can always uh, use your punches if you have the circle punches or use the dies and then emboss it to give it the crater look. And, uh, you know, um, what is it? Uh, blend using your blending brushes and give it that look. It's, it's nice. I think it will look very nice. And uh, yeah, so those are different ideas that you can do. But let me go ahead and do my sentiment. I want to do that. Let me use my... Did I put it up? Yes, I did. Let's add our little... and then I still do this you guys even though they're red rubber it's just a habit that I have already and then I am going to use my Versamark ink and grab my uh, thing and my white powder okay so I'm gonna do this Twice, just in case it doesn't work out. Oh wait, we don't have to do it again. And you're gonna see what I mean by not working out.
whenever I, uh, I just said three times <laughs> since I have room right here. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and do this. Add our powder. I need to buy some more. I know it has the little funnel looking thing here. I never use it. I still do it this other way. Okay, so I did it three times instead of two. I can always use it for something else. Oh, and I'm gonna show you guys something. Like everything is good. All right, let's turn this off. Okay, so one thing I wanted to show you is whenever you put the powder, sometimes it, it I don't know if you can tell, but this looks darker like the like the actual cardstock, and this looks white because of the white powder. So you can always grab a microfiber um, cloth and just do that. Or if you're wearing jeans or if you're wearing whatever you're wearing, you can always rub it. Just be careful not to bend it. I always do it on my, um, against my leg, my, you know, your leg, the rectus femoris, <laughs> against that muscle. And then it takes that white from the, from the, your your buddy, your embossing buddy, you know, and uh, it, it looks good. All right, so what I wanted to do, uh, it's this, let me see. Now I think I want to do it a different way. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see. Yes, I'm gonna cut it. And I have to use this longer scissors. I've tried using it on with the trimmer, you guys. No, it doesn't work. I never get straight cuts using the trimmer, especially for stuff like this. And if I use smaller scissors, I don't think it looks, um, Um, okay. So this one's done. And I want you. Okay, let's 
see if it works out. You know, maybe some of you are like, again, Betsy, you're doing this like what you did last time. I know. I'm such a liar, right? Oh, yeah. So, I got this idea from the catalog, you guys. But I'm doing it my way. You brightened my day. Okay. So let's do this. Don't lose your pieces. Let's see what time is it? Twelve oh three, you guys. I talk so much. I know, I know. What's going on here? Okay. So let's do it this way. Mm. And then this one I had set over here. So let's add some adhesive here. Let's do it this way. Then this one I did like here, like so. So let's add some adhesive. This way. No, I think I want it this way. And this one I'm gonna put on this other side. Oh, come on. And this side I think I'm gonna add. Okay, let me put that off to the side because I did want to add that little. Um, flame. This I am going to pop up. Let me grab my dimensionals. I think I'm going to use black since this is dark. I'm using the the black dimensionals and this one's they do come in mini as well. I think I like it without it. So I'm gonna do that and then So then I'm going to grab this and put it, then I'm going to add it this way. Let's see, is there like a different one? Add this one. I can add this one there too, or... I think I'll just stick with this one. So initially, I think I wanted it here. Now, I think I want it here. Okay. 
like so. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I think I want to add some dimensional to this. So let me just do that. Because the sentiment, I don't think I am going to pop it up. I think I'm going to just leave it as is. So let me go ahead and grab my little mat. Everything's already glued. I mean, everything's already. Okay, so do it this way. What I like about this little mat is that it's easy to clean. And uh, it leaves your surfaces clean. Right? Just be careful. Don't add so much, especially when it, it comes to small pieces like this. Don't add so much. Okay, so. Let's add you, you here. You brighten. like so all right you guys that one's done you know what so i think i want to add some little like embellishments of the little thing that i have already cut out i'll show you which ones like these let's see let's put this one there let's put this small one here and let's put another different color and color I guess let's use this big one on this side all right our first card is done I'm not gonna do the inside out just post it later but this is one you brighten up my day i really like that holographic look now this other one i want to use the astronaut and i want to use this beautiful paper which is the back of this one so let's use i think i want to use i'm gonna use this one Okay, so we're gonna use our astronaut. This one, I think I wanna use the pebble path. Ugh, I keep wanting to say bath. And no, let's use this one instead. And I want to use, let's see. I wanna use this one. Then this way. Let's do it this way. Mm. Now this is another one I really liked from the catalog. <laughs> I got so many of my, of my ideas from there, you guys. Um, there's one more 
that I have in mind with this. And um, it's not done. I showed it to my husband and he's like, oh, that one's really awesome. And I was like, I know. But I think I wanna put it this way. And um, I think I wanna use this purple one instead. You see, the catalog is using red, but I think I like with purple and not to red. Mm -hmm. I think I like it better this way. Yep. All right. So for this one, I think I want to use my card base to be I like it with blueberry bushel, you guys. <laughs> oh man, I think I, I think I'm really starting to like that color. Oh look, this is Pacific Point. I didn't really use Pacific Point. Um, I still have it here, but let me see. I have one ready. So there we go. I use it for my other card. Um, I think I used it for my other card. But I have one already cut here. Oh no, this is not blueberry bushel. This is orchid or starry sky. Yeah, I like it with starry sky. Never mind, never mind. Starry sky, starry sky. Sorry, Sky. Here. All right. And the ring, you guys, is in that one of using one of the holographic um, papers. I love it. So I like this and let's go ahead and do this and let's see what time is it 12 15 all right I was like okay if I'm not done by 12 I want to be done by 12 30 um, if you guys if you have any questions regarding any of the products please do not hesitate to send me a message if you um, are having problems uh with a product that you have ordered please let me know um you know i uh i would gladly like to help you and um you are never a bother to me you know if i don't know the answer to a certain question you're asking you guys i will find a way to help you with that one situation um you know uh just let me know just let me know let me know let me know i kind of want it sideways let's see yeah i think i like it this way so let me add some adhesive on this side because it's going to be like that. So the rings, all right. And then, let's see if I can add some more here. That way you can stick there. And then some dimensionals. Let's use the black dimensionals. And remember, this one's also come in black, I mean, in mini size. The same packet. I believe it's two. I'll check right now. 
because I only carry one of these in my cutting because I use um, I use oh what is it called the dimensionals the regular dimensionals more than I do the, the black ones so the black dimensionals would be a good one so these are the black dimensionals yeah you get two of each so you get two regular two regular sized and two mini size and it's they are amazing um all right so let's go ahead and adhere this And for my astronaut, I'm going to show you guys something. Oh, wait. Let me see. No, it's not that one. It's this one. If I want it this way. Yes. Yeah, let's do it this way. Okay, so I use the back of one of the sheets to, let's see, let me show you. You can use this side. Don't use this side. Use this side of any of the, um, let me see, I have them die cut right here. I mean, I already cut use don't use the pad the the colorful side use the space side and use any one that you like and use the smallest the smallest circle from the dies which is this one the inner one right here and cut whichever one so if you want this in that circle you go ahead and cut that okay I did it for several because I wanted, um, this is a planet. So you see here, these are different ones. These are two different ones from the back, from the galaxy side of the, where did they go? I had different ones, different circles of the, of the back of the, the paper. So you cut up whichever one. I want to use this one. Maybe I should use this one. I'll use this one. You're going to add some glue to this. Add some glue. Or you can add it here. To make it look. Let me spread it around. Because I don't want it to. Okay, let me use my tick pick tool and just do it like that. And then you're all set. It looks like it's the glare of space in his uh, helmet. You know, the reflection space in his helmet super cool all right so then we are going to pop him up and over here we're just gonna go ahead and add some uh seal to it and then let's use our black dimensionals let's add some to his uh, torso At this and let me see I don't have to add anything no nope. just like that I think that's it Center him here. All right. 
right. Super cool. All right. Now, I want to use... I want to use a sentiment that says reach for the stars. Now this one, I kind of want to stamp it on, let me see. Mm, I think that one would look nice. Uh, let's see, where is my reach for the stars? Yeah, it fits. No, I think I want it this way. Reach for the stars. And then I'm going to use, since I'm using Pebble pa Path, <laughs> Path, I am going to go ahead and use it with this. Okay, it's a circle, so. Oh, you know what, I forgot to do something. Okay, come up, wait. Okay. And that is it, you guys. I'm gonna add some more of those. I didn't clean this one. Some more of the, of the embellishments with the specialty paper. So I wanna add it this way. Reach for the stars. Okay, did you guys? Have any of you watched the new Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> um, my husband was uh, making fun of it whenever they were in space and they were wearing a certain outfit. Um, it was pretty funny. So, I liked the movie. Um, then again, I, I have always been a Avengers fan since the beginning. Um, what we like about Guardians of the Galaxy is their uh, awesome playlist. <laughs> They're pretty, pretty good. I, I like the music. Whoever does that for that movie has done a phenomenal job. Um, let's see. Should I do it like that? Here. Hmm. I think I like it. I don't know. But I want to show that paper. <laughs> it's so pretty. So let's just put it here. Yep. Let's just do it like that. Okay, let's put this back. Let's put this back. And now let's go ahead and take my take a pick tool. And then let's go and add some two. I think I want to add five. One, two, three, four. And that's the one right here. Five of the little stars that I have here. Let's do this one here. Let's do a big one back here. Let's do another of the big ones here. So that's three, four, Let's see. Okay, and then let's do a medium size one up here. All right, you guys, and then we're done. I like it. I really like them. And like I said, a lot of this, I got the idea from uh, the catalog. I, I love casing the catalog. 
um, hey, it's, it's there. Why not? But I did add my twists to each of them. If you look at the catalog, let me show you. Look. So this I got from here. You see, I, I got the... Oh, one thing I was going to show you guys. So... I will post this on my blog. Before Stampin' Up! didn't uh, let the demonstrators um, share this with their customers, but now they are. Okay, now they are. And if it's okay for us to share with our customers, why not? Right? So these are called sample recipes they do not give measurements of the um, of the card what was used or anything like that but i have what i did notice whenever it was available to us that these are way different than the previous uh sample recipes they have given us let me show you one that I have here and I still have it in the catalog. Let me see. I have two. Um, I have not found a way to how to store these in a way. I kind of want to get them uh, binded, but I'm not too sure. But this is from 2021. And it says techniques, others stamping off. You know, and it says the same thing here. Instructors use score blade to make pattern in red foil. Uh, let me see. There, there are some other ones. Um, I guess this one's okay. You see how instructions? It doesn't say how they did that. So I've noticed that on. Okay, you see how these instructions don't have it. Instructions it doesn't have. You know, it doesn't, like, let's say, let's see this one. It's sponge early espresso. It's stuff like this, right? That you're like, how do you, how do they do it? How? And um, now I feel like a lot of the samples from this one, they do. So this is from July, 2022. These are the sample recipes. Um, I added some white craft around the lights with a sponge dauber, instructions, um, instructions, banner size. See, this is the first I've seen, uh, a, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> I have some of my chemistry homework here. <laughs> this is too funny. I guess I needed a scratch sheet of paper ASAP and I grabbed one of these. Yeah, well, I guess I'm wrong then. I guess I've always had it. I, I guess just the cards that I wanted to make, it didn't have the instructions. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I have not printed out the ones from... I print out everything. But like I've said, I have not had the... I have not thought about how I want to... How I would like to store them. So I just, I just have them inside the catalogs. But what's what I like about our sample recipes is the fact that it tells you exactly what they used. Okay, it's like starry sky paper, cardstock. It tells you the number in case you just want to go ahead and order it. The holographic trio, the DSP, the ink they use is tuxedo black ink, the crushed curry for the sentiment. Uh, they use watercolor pencils because they colored the... Um, the astronaut so you can do that and see but this is where i got this idea from which is this one and i changed a lot of things how i wanted my my greeting to be stamped um i use pebble path instead of uh, the tuxedo black ink and i got the idea for that here if i had a star and for my other card, this one, 
how I did it is you brighten up my day. It's from here. I was like, where is that from? Where do they get it from? So it like, it doesn't say how they did it or what, but this is a box. And uh, it doesn't say, but it tells you like they used, I think it was fresh freesia. Let me see. Night, navy, blackberry bliss. Uh, mm, oasis. No, I, I guess it's blueberry bushel. The Instead of fresh freesia, it's blueberry bushel. And the ink they use is blackberry, blackberry bliss. <laughs> And they use the Bursa Mark ink so that they can do this because that's what they used here, which is here. They used um, Night of Navy and Orchid Oasis. And this is Night of Navy. And um, yes, you guys, so I, I used, you know, this. My paper, how the way I cut it was, I, I didn't want to do it this way because you know, it's the way I cut my DSP. This is going that way, not this direction. But I used a lot of this design. I got this from here. Switch it up, people. Just switch it up, my friends. Switch it up, you know. Now, the ones that I did straight up off the catalog was these. The ones that I showed you at first. You know, it was this. Now these are straight up from the catalog. I didn't change anything, which is this. I really liked it. I love that rainbow effect, how it looks. So depending how you put it to, it hit the, how the light hits, it's going to do it. I really want to use to do this one. Um, I just had stuff to do and I didn't get a chance to, but the one that I am going to show you guys in uh another occasion you're going to see it i'm kind of saving some of my projects for i think it's july 24th if i'm not mistaken july 24th it's what's the first man of the moon i meant to google it but i forgot um something happened that day in in space and i think it was the landing of the moon because when it was the 50th anniversary we celebrated here in Houston and I was, I took, we did everything space that year, that whole month. And yeah, it's a uh, space. Casey was here in uh, Houston and yeah, I was an astronaut. Super cool. I honestly want to use this for a, scrap, a scrapbook page because I have so many space um, pictures of my son and I would love to do that. Um, you know, we also have Star Wars. My husband is a big Star Wars fan. My little one's name is Luke. And um, yes, you can guess why. <laughs> but um, I really like it. I really like mine. I like it better than the catalog. I'm not saying it's bad, but I like it. You add your own twist, your own touch, whatever you want. It's pretty cool. You know, you can even die cut this and make it gold if you want to use it. You know, use all white and use this gold. If you stamp this on a black paper and white, uh, use white powder and heat emboss it and use that in gold. I should have brought my little, the little astronaut that my son has, the figurine. That way you guys can see it. But I plan to do that on a card and I can't wait to show you my other projects that I have. But I, I wanted you guys to see how easy it is to get ideas from the catalog. Okay, this one, this one I got from the back of the catalog because do not forget the back of the catalog um, has samples whenever they're uh, showing you the bundle. You see, it's from here. And this, I thought it was um, pumpkin pie, what they used, but no, it was um, melon mambo. Weird, huh? That they used melon mambo, but this is straight from the catalog what it says here and that's using the the recipes you know because i get the ink what ink they used here um birth and mark starry sky ink to do that to do the sentiment but everything on uh 
on this card was pretty much the DSP, you guys. The DSP. I would have really liked for them to do the the planets, like have a stamp for it, but we can use the DSP to make it, which is super easy. And you can use the um this to create some of those craters. Um I really love this. Um, but yes, on July, I am going to feature this again because it is space month that day, that month, July. I, I believe it's July 24th, if I am not mistaken, July 24th, when uh, it was the first uh, Men of the Moon. Uh... 1969 yeah the moon landing yes it was a moon landing july 20th of 1969 one giant leap for mankind yeah so i was four days off i had to google it because it was going to bother me but july 20th if my wednesday comes before that or after or but i'm point is i'm doing it before that so I can't wait to show you more of my projects then because it is space month, but this one's my favorite. I think I'm going to give it to my son because he reached uh, all his goals for this for this school year. School ends May 25th and he reached all of them and I'm, we are so proud of him. He did. He was helping out his classmates also accomplish all those goals. My His teacher was telling me and... Um, he, he was very shy to tell me about it. And I am just so happy that he, we have such an awesome, awesome, awesome child. We have been very blessed to have him in our lives. He's brought so much joy to us. And I think I'm going to give it to my son. He has my card in, on his wall. And the ones that he's created, he has it on his wall using the robot. It's another 7-Up kid. But all right, you guys, that's it. I'm going to keep chatting if I don't stop and my husband's here, so good thing he's here or else I'll I'll keep talking. And um, like I said, if you have any questions regarding anything, please do not hesitate to call me. Do not hesitate to send me a message, an email. I will respond to you as soon as I can. All right, you guys, you have a beautiful rest of your day. I hope it's not dreary outside like it is here. But um bring some sunshine to your day today, all right? Well, I hope I did with this card and just using my whatever I said that might have brought in your day. <laughs> all right, well, you have a good day, you guys. Bye.